Savants. Kevin Gordon here for Auto Savant, coming to you from the 2013 Dodge Dart. I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the technology in the Dart, and really specifically the uh, Chrysler Uconnect system with their navigation package. So we will uh, get the car started and give you guys an idea of what startup looks like. Right. This one is the rally model, so you don't get the TFT display you would in the GT or the limited versions, but it is equipped with the navigation package, which means you do get the excellent, and I'm happy to say that right from the start, uh, Chrysler Uconnect system. So, a um, few things to point out. I've got audio off at this point. There's a few little things, like this icon they are doing some interesting things like the fact that that icon if we start to move one of course we get a backup camera in which you get to see but if as we move around you'll notice that it's now actually noticed that we're no longer pointed northeast or we're pointed northwest so it's a nice little thing that they're bothering to uh, use their icons actually dynamically I thought that was sort of an interesting little feature and something that you know you might not notice initially, but as you live with the car, it could be a handy thing. Of and, course, uh, we're talking to you get um, AM, FM, and satellite radio. And one of the things to notice immediately is how fast this screen responds and how good it is to touch response. I mean, it really does sort of fly through its screens. It's very quick to react. Really can't complain about those pieces at all. You also get, of course, Bluetooth audio. Now, the one challenge that we've had and we have very often in cars that we experience is we use a Samsung Galaxy Note smartphone. And if I take the USB cable that's in the center console and plug it in, we will quickly see that it can't be read even though it's in full media mode. And that's a pretty typical thing um, with this. I will say if you plug it into an iPad mini, it reads just fine. But if you're one of the many million people with a Samsung Note or potentially S3, although I haven't tested one specifically, um, you might want to check if it's an important thing for you to be able to read from USB device. But um, one thing to note is that like the switching between the radio and Bluetooth works perfectly. Bluetooth is reconnected every time we've gotten in the car. No real complaints there. So moving on, there's this control screen which really sort of gets you the ability to turn it off. You of course get climate control functions through there which gets you sort of your more detailed ones although you can do almost everything down through actual physical control buttons which is nice, you know, heat and cold this car doesn't have climate control but it uh, does at least have a knob for temperature you know, you're not dependent on the touchscreen for those pieces. And then the very good Garmin-based navigation system. And just wanted to walk you through, so if we go back to here and go where to, you'll notice how quickly uh, you can go through and put in, and it's already guessing, right, because I put in this one before, 1400, and Liberty Ridge Drive and just that quickly you're ready to navigate it really is a very impressively fast to react system the one thing that they've done is put a very route. to highlight a route they still can't say make a computer voice sound all that good but really it is a excellent excellent system phone connectivity also has been good you can see you can set up favorites up here um, like on the radio stations the one thing that's nice is you know all the pieces there that work so if you then use the actual control knobs again handy right volume and control knob for tuning all it takes is like a long press to reset your favorites all works pretty much as you'd expect it um, so really a very favorable and positive set of results. Just to show you guys, we'll sort of swap over camera angles here for a second. Uh, in the center console is your another 12 volt outlet, a SD card reader, 
USB, and of course an auxiliary in. And this is actually where the CD player is, which is an interesting option. They've put it in the center console instead of, you know, eating a slot on the dashboard for it. Which, of course, says to me that it's not long before you can expect to see CD players be a forgotten thing in cars. The last sort of not tech feature, but that's interesting to get to see if you haven't anyway, is the fact that on the front passenger seat, you notice there's a little knob here. And what you get is your sort of little stash box underneath the front passenger seat. It's an interesting little storage bit that's kind of handy. You know, keep things out of the way, of course, if you're constantly riding with a passenger, you'll have to ask them to get out. But uh, overall, really a uh, very nice package and competitively priced if Chrysler and their work with Garmin deserves to be commended for it. So with that, Kevin Gordon for Auto Savant. Look forward to talking to you guys soon.